Welcome back everyone. Today we're building a mini modern place. This was done before the Eco Lifestyle pack came out and I think it was just after the patch. So, you know, and this time I seem to be laying down furnishings while I build. I do things in a couple of different ways. It depends on what I'm looking for. Now, I don't know what happened to the save, to be honest with you. I know I had to uninstall and reinstall, and I think that this went the way of the dodo bird when I did that. I did save my saves, and everything turned out fine. It's possible that this just went nuts and didn't come back into existence after I was finished with that. Now I kept the inside kind of modern and sleek black and white, very high contrast. I was inspired by the upcoming pack, but it hadn't been released yet, so I don't have those really cute furnishings and shipping container eco lifestyle things yet. So what I'm probably going to do is I am going to rebuild this and then put it on the gallery. And I think I'll do a couple of different versions. I will do a shell, I will do a starter, and then I will try to recreate what I've done here. I kept the windows on the outside also in the high contrast with the black and white because I'm going to be putting white on most of it and then a dark clabbered on the far left hand side. Now this is three stories, a basement, a main level, and a top level. And there's a couple of balconies and it's just really cute. They're technically three bedrooms but it's not really a bedroom. There's a Murphy bed in the basement and there's also a little bedroom down there as well. Now I'm still trying to figure out the usage of the ladders. It's like I put them into place and then it's like they don't, meaning the Sims don't know how to access them. They don't route to them properly. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure them out. I kept this very woody, light, but warm at the same time. I think it's a cute build. And I did play test this before I finished up and it worked nicely. I mean, I did have to change a few things, of course, but it's a nice little build. It would be good for off the grid if you change some of the furnishings to things that are off the grid. Now I'm working on this top level here. It's not a very big build, and it's not a long build either. It was just the right amount of build for me that day. I'm going to put up a balcony and trying to get everything in the right position before I start putting furnishings on that level first. And yes, I was going off of a plan that I found online. I like to do that a lot. So, if I can find it, I will redo it. I hate that it didn't quite make it back when I had to reinstall Sims. Now we're putting up some furnishings up here. This is going to be the bedroom. There is a bathroom and a closet up in here. This is what we're working on right now. That's going to be the closet, and that second box is the bathroom. And the other box in the bathroom is going to be the big walk-in shower. Using um, a door and a window and the university shower, which I love. That is my ultimate favorite shower to use because then I can customize the shower exactly how I like it. Although, there are still times when I use the other showers in-game. Now you guys need to let me know what else you would like to see me build, whether on stream to be turned into a speed build or just as a speed build. I don't know. It usually depends on my mood. 
but I want to know what you guys want to see me build. I'm open to challenges. I'm open to gameplay challenges too. I'd like to do a bit more gameplay on my channel. There is a series that I would like to do it's called Landscape My Builds, where I take your guys' builds that are unlandscaped. I don't do anything with the inside. The inside is irrelevant to me. Um, and of course, I'll contact you and ask you questions about, you know, if you want a certain style, if you were going for something specific, or you just want me to go ahead and do with what I feel is best for the area. Now, if you wanted me to put plants on the inside and kind of landscape that out, I will. But I won't do that without your permission, of course. And I won't change anything else, just plants. So if you guys have builds, they can be old builds, they can be new builds, they can be builds specifically for this idea. Uh, just uh, upload it to the gallery with hashtag seminary landscape and I'll pick those up. I started toying with this idea, I think, late last year, early this year, because I thought it was be interesting. Because I've had many conversations with my friends who may not necessarily be builders or they're learning to be builders or even longtime builders where they're really not keen on landscaping and landscaping is one of my ultimate favorite things to do in game so i figured maybe i can do that also i wanted to ask you guys if you had any questions about landscaping and uh, you could put those in the box or you can message me on Twitter or Twitch, it doesn't matter. Or email me at theseminary at gmail.com and let me know of things you're having issues with in terms of landscaping, questions you have about landscaping, things you would like to learn about um, or how to do or demonstration. And I can make videos about those things and so I could maybe help you to landscape better. So it's not so intimidating because it can be intimidating. So let me know those as well. I'm open to all sorts of ideas. You guys let, need to let me know what you want. I mean, yes, I do this for me, but I also do it for you too, because you are the ones that are watching it. Anyway, I hope you like what I've been doing so far with my channel. I've been enjoying it. It's a relaxing outlet for me. I've been avoiding it for so long because I'm like, I hate editing and I don't necessarily hate editing. I am not a fast editor and it's a lot of time and I don't know. Back in the day, I used to have a channel called Ask a Goth Girl. This was before the advent of monetization. And I did that for years, years and years and years. And uh, so I kind of got burnt out on editing and I really didn't do a lot of editing after that. I never really took a channel that I've ever created seriously until this one. I mean, I had a herbs and essential oils channel for a while when I was brainwashed by Young Living. Mm -hmm. When I was selling that. I think I still have an active account. But anyway. Uh, So now we're working in the basement trying to get that suited for living. And I think with a few adjustments, it would be definitely playable long term. It's a smaller build, but it can fit a small family. You could easily make one of the bedrooms a nursery or a child's room and move some of the outdoor plants and make a play space for them, put a greenhouse out here. And there's so many possibilities you could do with this little space. 
And I'm just adding trees and things and trying to make it pretty. I love landscaping. I don't know why I love landscaping as much as I do. I get so obsessed with the plants. So I love building. Landscaping is my ultimate favorite part of building though. So that's why I wanted to do the landscape my builds thing because I think it could be fun. And you guys could get your builds landscaped and not have to do anything. It's a very nice no pressure collab because you don't have to do anything. It can be an old build from like years ago. I don't really care. And I will find it with the hashtag. Seminary Landscape. And of course you get absolute full credit. All of your links and stuff down below and I will reach out to you and message you or you could message me and let me know that you have something out there for me. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, and we can work something out. Putting in some ferns. I love those ferns. There are so many amazing ferns in this game. Now the vampire pack has some really great plants in that. And mm, the advent of debug totally stepped up my landscaping game. Putting out some wood, some of the larger pieces, it fills in space, but also makes it look like we're further back in the woods, little cabin, little container cabin, but on the more modern stance. So I make it look like these plants are haphazardly placed because I wanted to look a little wild, a little unkempt, like it's a wild space back in the woods. Lots of wildflowers, some hostas. Now I left some space because I wanted room for you know, someone that moved in here to garden. And of course, moving plants if one needs to. And now we're gonna go look and enjoy a little tour. I didn't even get to take pictures properly. So, I don't know, man. I hope you enjoyed the build. Let me know what you guys wanna see next here on my channel and on stream. I stream every weekday, Monday through Friday. Monday is literature at about six or seven. Tuesday through Thursday is gameplay and building in The Sims 4 or anything else that I feel like playing. And Friday is art streams at 10 a.m. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the build. And if you did like the video, please like, comment, rate, and subscribe. May you be well, happy, and peaceful. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.